This was the scene when I went to the supermarket around 9 o'clock in Hong Kong. There's no rice, no flour, nothing. It seems like there's not much left. What happened to the street? This used to be very busy, now look at it. This supermarket in Hong Kong is empty like they are in a war zone. The economic downturn in Hong Kong has been precipitated by several critical factors, with the enactment of the national security law at the forefront, creating a domino effect on the city's economic vitality and global image. This law has induced a palpable sense of apprehension among international investors and local businesses concerned about the erosion of Hong Kong's autonomy and its world-renowned legal and business framework. Adding to these woes, Hong Kong's stringent pandemic measures, among the world's strictest, have significantly isolated the city from both international visitors and its biggest source of tourists, mainland China. The impact is stark. Prior to the pandemic, in 2018, Hong Kong hosted an average of 5.4 million visitors a month, a figure that dwindled dramatically in the ensuing years. The West Kowloon Shopping Mall was almost deserted at 9 p.m., and many shops were forced to close. Thousands of shops closed. Hong Kong has fallen so deep. There is no nightlife in Hong Kong, and it has become very deserted now. It is still early in the evening, and only convenience stores are open on the street. The cessation of this vital stream of tourists has had a cascade effect on the retail, hospitality, and service sectors, pivotal components of Hong Kong's consumer economy. In stark contrast to earlier years when these sectors thrived on high-spending tourists, recent times have seen a shift toward a more budget-conscious visitor demographic. The loss in consumer traffic and spending is palpable, with Hong Kong's GDP growth decelerating to 3.2 peck in in 2023 from previous years, highlighting the stark economic challenges the city faces. According to recent data from the Hong Kong Tourism Development Bureau, from January to November 2023, only 30.07 million visitors came to Hong Kong, significantly lower than the 52 million visitors in the same period in 2019 before the mask-related events occurred. This represents less than 60 peccant of the tourist numbers from the same period in 2019. There are three evident reasons contributing to this decline in Hong Kong's appeal. Firstly, Hong Kong's role as a gateway to the world for China has diminished. Hong Kong was once a city where East and West cultures converged, providing a unique blend of Western cultural heritage and inclusiveness. However, the intensification of competition and conflicts between China and the United States has impacted Hong Kong's status as a window for international exchange. Secondly, the allure of duty-free goods in Hong Kong has decreased. Hong Kong, as a free port, used to offer tax-free imports and a variety of international brands at lower prices compared to the mainland. However, with the further opening up of mainland China and the establishment of free trade zones, individuals can now purchase duty-free goods locally, reducing the cost advantage of Hong Kong. Thirdly, the high cost of consumption in Hong Kong is undeniable. Expenses such as hotel accommodations in Hong Kong have risen, surpassing the average levels of 2018. This means that the cost of consumption during economic downturns is now higher than during economic prosperity, which has led to reluctance among Chinese tourists to stay in Hong Kong even for evening shopping. Without many tourists, Hong Kong's airports look deserted. Mainland China suffered the same fate. This airport looks like it has no one. The ramifications of these overarching issues on local businesses have been profound. Operational costs have surged as revenues plummet, a situation captured by the phenomenon of the two-dish rice, symbolizing the declining purchasing power and consumer confidence. 
the shift towards more budget-conscious consumer behavior has forced businesses, previously catering to luxury markets, to realign their offerings to meet a more price-sensitive demand. This economic downturn was further exacerbated by the allure of cheaper alternatives in neighboring regions, like Shenzhen, which led to a significant outflow of consumer spending from Hong Kong, intensifying the struggles of local businesses. The retail and food and beverage sectors, heavily reliant on tourist and local consumer spending, have been particularly hard hit. Retail sales in Hong Kong, for instance, saw a year-on-year -year increase of 15.9 peccant in November 2023, but this is off a low base and followed years of decline during the pandemic. Moreover, Hong Kong's economy is forecasted to face further challenges, with GDP growth expected to slow to 2.7 peccant in 2024, reflecting ongoing economic headwinds including high interest rates, geopolitical tensions, and a sluggish property market. Over 60 peccan of companies surveyed by the Hong Kong General Chamber of Commerce expect no income growth in 2024, evidencing the mass escape among the business community. Recently, major companies such as Samsung, Apple, and Mitsubishi Toyota have been gradually relocating from China, especially in Hong Kong, shifting their production bases to Southeast Asia and the Indian market. How substantial is this exodus? According to data, in 2021, foreign investment surpassed our net investment by an astonishing dollar 170 billion. Unexpectedly, the situation took a drastic turn in 2022, with foreign capital consistently withdrawing dollar 160 billion for six consecutive quarters until the end of September this year. Such a massive capital outflow is quite rare in history and has led to a negative foreign direct investment figure for the first time since the beginning of economic reforms and opening up. As we know, investment, consumption, and exports are the three driving forces behind GDP growth. Foreign invested enterprises contribute nearly half of the total export value, with some regions like Zhengzhou and Hunan accounting for over 60 peccant. These contributions are factored into our GDP, contribute taxes, and aid in earning foreign exchange. Every year, they generate an impressive dola 1.3 trillion in foreign exchange, constituting one-third of our national foreign exchange reserves. It's crucial to note that imports such as petroleum, food, and chips require payment in U.S. dollars. One might wonder if foreign companies are not making money off us. The reality is, even if they make significant profits, a substantial portion is taken back, leaving a smaller share for us. For instance, Apple, for every dola 100 billion it generates, takes away dola 70 billion, leaving only dola 30 billion. In the absence of these foreign enterprises, we wouldn't get anything. Importantly, when foreign companies leave, it impacts not only them but also a vast network of associated upstream and downstream enterprises, potentially dozens, hundreds, or even thousands of businesses. Once foreign companies depart, these affiliated enterprises lose orders, face bankruptcy, and may lead to mass layoffs. Where will these employees find new jobs? Mass exodus and free press plummet, signaling an existential threat to the city's future. The demographic landscape of Hong Kong is undergoing a significant transformation as a notable segment of its population opts for migration, signaling a profound discontent with the city's socio-political and economic outlook. This exodus, described as the most extensive in recent history, is reshaping the very essence of Hong Kong's society. According to a report by the Hong Kong Public Opinion Research Institute, as cited by various sources in 2022, more than 40 peccant of the population expressed desires to emigrate, with countries like the UK, Canada, and Australia being top preferences. This mass migration trend reflects deep-seated anxieties over diminishing freedoms and a perceived erosion of autonomy from Beijing's tightening grip. Economically, the outflow poses a potential crisis, risking a brain drain that could deplete the city of its skilled workforce. The social fabric of Hong Kong is equally at risk, with traditional support networks and community bonds threatened by the growing diaspora. Press freedom and political repression, the diminishing right to information. In a parallel decline, Hong Kong's once-cherished press freedom has plummeted, moving from the 80th position in the 2021 World Press Freedom Index to a stark 140th in 2023, according to Reporters Without Borders. 
This nosedive in press freedom rankings underscores the territory's struggle under the weight of the national security law, which since its implementation in 2020 has led to the arrest of numerous journalists and the shuttering of several prominent media outlets. For instance, the closure of Apple Daily, a leading pro-democracy newspaper, and the arrest of its founder, Jimmy Lai, symbolize the formidable pressures facing the free press. The government's aggressive posture towards dissent and information control not only stifles journalistic freedom but also encroaches upon the public's right to access unbiased and comprehensive news. This constriction of the information landscape is more than an affront to media, it's a blow to the democratic ethos of Hong Kong, affecting its international image and standing as a bastion of freedom in Asia. The confluence of a significant exodus and the marked decline in press freedom signifies a pivotal juncture for Hong Kong, pointing towards a profound identity and cultural shift. These trends not only bear immediate repercussions on the city's economic vibrancy and social cohesion but also pose fundamental questions about its future. With a substantial portion of the populace seeking lives beyond its shores and the press under unprecedented duress, Hong Kong's global stature as a free, dynamic metropolis is under scrutiny. The evolving narrative of Hong Kong, amid these challenges, remains uncertain. Whether these transformations signal a transient phase or a definitive reorientation of its trajectory will depend on how the city navigates these pressing issues in the years to come. Hong Kong property meltdown, dwindling values, and stock market plunge spell economic crisis. The real estate industry in Hong Kong has historically been a bedrock of the city's economy, contributing significantly to its international stature as a financial center. However, recent developments have seen this once thriving market face unprecedented challenges. Key among the factors influencing this downturn has been the enactment of the national security law in 2020, compounding three years of strict pandemic control measures, which collectively have altered the economic and social landscape of Hong Kong. The decline in property values has been mirrored in the performance of the stock market, signifying a loss of confidence among investors in Hong Kong's economic resilience. Amidst a continuous decline in both the property and stock markets, reports as of January 2024 painted a gloomy picture. Property, once considered a safe and lucrative investment in Hong Kong, has seen depreciating values, challenging the city's status as a prime real estate hub. Adding shock to this scenario is the reported slump in home prices to the lowest in seven years as indicated by government data. With little relief in sight for 2024, Forecasts suggest that home prices might dip further by 3-5% to in the first half of the year before stabilizing somewhat in the latter half. This downturn is correlated with broader economic indicators, including a reduction in retail and dining business operations and a decrease in international tourism and local spending. Furthermore, the Hang Seng Property Index plunged 30 peck in in 2023, reflecting a stark 60 peck in drop from its peak in April 2019, underlining the diminishing investor confidence and economic strain faced by Hong Kong. The implications of declining property values extend beyond investors and homeowners, affecting the broader economy of Hong Kong. Real estate is intertwined with various economic segments, including construction, finance, and retail. As property values plummet, the knock-on effects could lead to reduced consumer spending, a dip in construction activities, and a cautious approach from foreign investors contemplating their stance in Hong Kong. The outlook for 2024 does not bode well for recovery, industry experts anticipate further challenges as higher interest rates persist and economic growth lags. For instance, Luxury residential markets are expected to see falls of 15 pekin to 20 pekin in values, including townhouses, as higher mortgage costs and fewer mainland buyers continue to impact the market. The commercial sector, particularly the office and retail spaces, anticipates a moderate growth driven by specific demands but overall remains in the shadow of uncertainty. Hong Kong's property market is enduring a challenging phase, reflective of broader economic setbacks. As the city navigates through these tumultuous times, the resilience of its real estate sector, once the envy of many, is put to the test, setting the scene for potentially transformative shifts in one of the world's most dynamic urban landscapes. 
the recovery path seems arduous and contingent on a myriad of economic, social, and political stabilizations aiming to recapture the confidence of both local and international stakeholders in Hong Kong's property market. Thank you.